Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronnie Sweet and I'm sure and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can achieve melanin skin tone in Photoshop or how you can easily color grade and get that melanin skin tone out of your dark models or models that have dark skin complexion. So the image you're going to be using today is taken by No the Law and I'm going to link his Instagram in the description of this video. So just want to see how you can color grade and get out the rich melanin skin tone out of this model and let me just show you the before for the image just want to transform it to looking like this and later on we just want to see how to save it as a lot or a preset to be applied on two images later on in photoshop in our workflow so we are just going to be color grading and also creating a preset or an action that is going to achieve or help us achieve the same look with just a single click within Photoshop. So I'm just going to come, I'm just going to delete this so that we can learn everything. So before we can do anything, since we want to create a preset or a LUT, we're just going to merge all these layers into one so that we, we have only one layer right here. I'm just going to use Shift Control E on the keyboard or Shift Command E on the keyboard to merge these layers. The importance of this is because when you're saving it as a preset, we don't want to have any issues involving these other groups that we had initially so always make sure to only have one layer so in order to create or save or color grade an image with the melanin skin tone you're just going to basically be using more of the black and white adjustment layers and the hue and saturation and let me show you so just come the adjustments and come and create a black and white adjustment layer and after creating it the image is going to turn into black and white so just come to the blend mode and change it from normal and click on multiply and the image is going to be so dark as you can see or as you can see right here. So I'm just going to come to the opacity and I'm going to take the opacity way down up to around 20, 23 looks good. And after doing that I'm just going to come to the red, the red channel within black and white and simply darken the red channel and also slightly darken the yellow channel and this is going to help us achieve the very first step for the color grading so after that i'm just going to come to the black and white adjustment layer and simply leave the blend mode to normal i'm just going to close this and this time around i'm just going to leave the blend mode to normal and just reduce on the opacity to desaturate this image so i'm just going to desaturate it up to around 15 so 17 looks great and after desaturating it we're just going to come back to our hue and saturation and under this what we just want to do under the hue and saturation make sure you come and click on master so first of all we just want to look at the yellows so just want to remove the yellows because usually melanin skin tone has no yellow color in it so come to the yellow yellows and come to saturation and simply left click and drag this all the way out of the photo and this looks great so you're also going to come to the reds and slightly desaturate the reds from the image just like that so don't take it overboard if at all you feel like you're okay with that you can take it overboard so at around negative 13 so we are just taking the saturation of the reds and the yellows out of the image so after doing that i are just going to close this and we're going to come back to the black and white adjustment layer and this time around change the blend mode from normal and you're just going to change it to overlay and the image is going to look a little bit more darker and just come to the opacity and take it down just like that so just take it down so this looks great so the last and final thing that we want to do since we still have a little bit more of the yellows within the image you're just going to come back to the hue and saturation and come to the master and change it from master to yellows and just take out the yellows even more so just take it down just slightly and you can come to the master and simply take down the master of the overall rather the saturation of the master so i'm just going to reset and slightly take down the saturation of the overall thing so let's see the overall before and after for the color grading we just don't want to take it overboard but we just want that melanated skin tone and we don't want to change the colors so much so by holding on alternate on the keyboard i'm just going to left click here and you can see before and after 
for the melanin skin tone. You can see how nice and natural this looks right now. So what we want to do, we just want to save it as a preset or as a LUT to color grade the images later on, if at all we have a number of images that belong to this specific shoot or a model that has the same skin tone complexion later on in the future. So with these layers, make sure that they are not in a group and just come right here to file and come to export and you come all the way down to color lookup table. So just come click on color lookup table and you can rename this to whatever you want. So I'm just going to name it to melanin lat and I'm going to leave the copyright to Ronix Photography. Then make sure you select medium right here because this is going to load faster within Photoshop and you select cube as make sure the format is cube and make sure it is ticked right here and come and hit OK and when you hit that you can come and rename it again to melanin lat so I'm just going to melanin lat and choose a destination where I want to save it I'm just going to save mine to the desktop and simply hit save so it is going to save and go back to the original image that we had initially before so i want to delete all this and i see if at all the preset has been successfully saved so select all the layers that we apply to the image and hit delete i'm going to come to the adjustments and i come to color lookup so when you click on color lookup you can come and click on load 3d lat and click again right there and you look for your lat where you saved it so for my case I saved mine on the desktop. I'm just going to hit M for the melanin and just come and click on it and come and hit open. So you can see it has just applied the color grading by just a single click. And when you feel like you don't want to apply the color grading on some areas or some specific areas, you can just click on this white layer mask and hit Ctrl or Command I on the keyboard to invert that LUT. Or you can just simply hit Ctrl Command Z to undo and with this white layer mask selected and you just want to eliminate the color grading just come and change these swatches to black so you just click to get black and white and in order to get black on top just click on this arrow or you can use X on the keyboard and with the brush at opacity and the flat 100% you can now come and paint using a soft round brush for example on the lips that you don't want to change color just come and paint in those lips so that you don't alter the original makeup uh, in the photo so basically that is how to uh, color grade using melanin skin tone in photoshop and save it as a preset so this is all for this tutorial and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you're watching and you're not subscribed this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thank, thanks for watching I'll see you in yet more amazing trails and don't forget Keep practicing and also keep creating.